I want to look at two things very quickly. This is pretty much what you use to fix cars when they get into an accident. It's a typical filler. This is relatively cheap, it's probably four US equivalent in my currency, the hardened of it. And this is a fiber reinforced um, polymer that is excellent strength, excellent um, thing. I haven't tried this yet to make a gear, but I want to. But it's extremely easy to make a mold of an existing gear with this. Put this in. What I've done so far is used um, normal uh, epoxy. Um, so I'm going to show that one and show how fairly easy that is compared to trying to 3D print something. Of course, 3D printing has its uses. Um, you don't have an existing gear. It makes no sense trying to you know discuss this anyway further than that. But if you do have a gear uh, and you want six, ten, twelve of them, maybe this is a simpler method and the results are fairly good this process of molding stuff has been done for you know decades and it's pretty reliable um, dimensional accuracy is pretty good so i will show the process very quickly so as you can see um not much is required to actually keep the uh, molding material contained that is really just cover of a bottle and well, the, basically the gear was pressed in on a flat surface and pressed down so you have a surface to detum. And after that, just a little bit of emery, um, the gear was coated with a little bit of uh, Vaseline, grease. And it comes out pretty easily. Take a pin and just pop it out. And then the next clip here shows where uh, repoxy resin was poured in. And yeah, that's it. And it did not have proper um, release on the mold so some of it came out if you notice in the next side you will see um, where it has a bit of whitey stuff but this material isn't that difficult you just take a little screwdriver and tap it in and just pop the gear out and that is supposed to be 2500 psi um, epoxy theoretically by manufacturer so you know the strength of this thing is going to be comparable at least to the gears that you know it was replacing this is not a large gear this is not you know you know anything that you require significant strength and again as i said if it does require significant strength the glass reinforced plastic is probably the way to go getting into the actual gear installation this is the original gear here and it was fine it's perfectly good and after looking at the mold, this is the finalized gear. I uh, did not put proper release, so it have a bit of a little pieces of the um, mold material in there. But um, yeah, look at it. Works well. Look at the accuracy on the side rise. Looks pretty good. Um, no complaints, no skipping, no anything. Hold any correct place, everything. Um, no insulation issues so as i said this is considered um a reasonable option if you do have a gear it's already pretty printed it works and you want to replicate and make maybe this is one of the better options